Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salah Khan here. And continuing the topic of coronal maps, in which today we discuss uh, the four variable K maps. Alright? So the heading is already over here coronal maps, in which today we discuss the four variable K maps. Alright? Okay. Now, how to do it? So, so in case of four variables, we have two to the power four is sixteen total combinations, which mean we have uh, sixteen uh, min terms, and this would mean that we will have sixteen blocks in that diagram. All right. And again, we do, and we will uh, arrange them in such a way that only one variable is changing at a time. Okay, so we draw 16 cells, four in each row. So it's like this. All right, so. One, two, three and four and then four columns so one two three and four all right now this is the 16 uh, blocks all right i can say now we have four inputs so you draw a line over here you have a and b over at this side c d at this side now you give it combinations all right so uh, previously we've seen the combinations that would be 0, 0, 0, 1. After this we will have a 1, 1 and then we will have a 1, 0. Similarly now at this side we will have like that. We have a 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1 and 1, 0. Now how is that? So we arrange them in such a manner that only one variable is changing at a time. All right? Now the min terms. Okay, so now this uh, this is what a zero 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 zero. You know this is m naught. This is m one. This is m two. This is m three. I'm leaving the spaces over here so that I can solve an example also. So so that we save a little space for some. Then we have over here is m four, m five. Then here is m six and here is m seven. Now you people will say this is M8, but this is not M8 basically. What is this? So we find it out. Now A is a 1, B is a 1, C is 0, and D is 0. So this is in binary. Its equivalent is what? It's 8 and 4. So this is 12. This is 12 in decimals, which means that this is M12. All right? Now this is M13. Now this one, let's say 1, 1, 1, 1, you know it is binary, is 15 in decimals. So this is M15. Now this would be 14. This is now 8. This is M9. This one is M10 and this one is M11. You can confirm it by converting. All right, 1, 1. 0, 0 is 12. 1, 1, 0, 1 is 13. 1, 1, 1, 1 is 15. 1, 1, 1. 0 is 14, 1, 0, 0, 0 is 8, 1, 0, 0, 1 is 9, 1, 0, 1, 1 is 11, and 1, 0, 1, 0 is 10, that you know. Now this is the K map of four variables, all right? This is a four variable K map. Now, how to simplify it? So the next rules are the same, you group uh, ones, all right? So let's say we have an example, of a function is given. It is, let's say, a uh, function, a four variable function, a, b, c, d, and this is equal to summation of min terms. What? Uh, so I have 0, 2, 3, 7, 11, 0, 2, 3, 7, 11, and 13, 14, 15. So quite a long. All right. So now you fill it, okay? So m not a, a m0 so this is a 1 uh, then we have 2 so this is a 1 
then we have three, four not present, five, six, seven, and we have 11, uh, 13, 14, and 15. So this is how you fill the map, okay? And then uh, and the rest, of course, are all zeros, zeros. So we fill this uh, four variable, a 16 cell game map. In this one also, we are moving like this, all right? Which means that A is your most significant bit and the D is your least significant bit, all right? Now again, you look for 16 ones. You can have a maximum of 16 ones in four variables. So we don't have 16 ones and you go up for eight ones. So you don't have an eight ones, now four ones are yes, we have a four ones. So, so this is the first group. All right. Now the second group, so I can uh, do one. I cannot group these three, all right? But I can group them uh, in twos. So I can group uh, these two, and then I can group these two. All right. And this one we can do from the map rolling. We can uh, do it like this. All right, now we write the value of the function. So the function is what? Now first this horizon, this vertical. So in this vertical, A and B are changing, all right? What is not changing? It's C and D and they're in the high form, so C, D. Then plus, let's say this one, okay? So in this we have A, B not changing, A, B. And then over here we have a C not changing. D is changing from 1 to 0, okay? Then in this one again, A, B is not changing. And then we have what? A, the C, the D is not changing, D. A, B, D. All right. And then finally in this one we have A, B not changing. And, and what else? D complement because D... In, in a zero form is not changing, all right? I, I, and here is a mistake I made, so, so, so this uh, D complement is not changing with an A complement, B complement, all right? Okay, so this is the first example. Uh, now, let me tell you one thing, let me tell you one thing about the groupings, all right? If you combine a group of uh, two ones, if you combine group of two ones, so what happens? One literal is reduced. All right, if you combine a group of four ones. Two literals are reduced. If you combine a group of eight ones, three literals are reduced. You combine a group of 16 ones, four literals are reduced, and so on. Now, literal is a variable, you know that. And how is that reduced? So, have a look. All right, let's say in the first one, C, D. Now, have a look. We have four variables. We have four variables, A, B, C, and D. Now, over here, we have combined a group of four ones. To get a CD. Now have a look. Two variables are reduced. We have dropped out A and B. And the left are C and D, which means two variables have been reduced. Now let's say, let's say in this group, in the second group that we took was this one, which was an A, B, C. Now we combine what? We combined a group of two ones. So if you combine a group of two ones, you have one literal reduced, which means A, B, C is we got, and D has been reduced. And similarly for this, now we got A, B, D, and C is reduced because we took, uh, what? We took two ones, and so one variable is reduced. All right? Okay, now we have some more examples. I believe, I think these won't be visible to you, but I hope that you know what are these, okay? These are the main type designations I've just written to understand M, not M1, M3, M2. You know what are these, all right? So let us have a question. A function is given a four variable function, a, b, 
C D. I write the I wrote these down to just save a little time, alright? So we have 0, 2, 3, 5, 7, 8, 0, 2, 3, 5, 7, 8, 10, 11, 14, 15, 10, 11, 14, 15, all right. And let me write down the next question as well, f of a, b, c, d, again, a, b, c, d, a summation of main terms, what? It's one five seven nine eleven, one five seven nine eleven thirteen fifteen. All right. So now I've written down the questions. You know their solution. You know the way to solve them. You pause the video over here and you solve, and then you check. Okay. Now I hope you have tried. So now uh, check with me. Okay. So you fill these uh, maps. So uh, 0, 1, day, uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, then 8, then 10, then 11, then 14, and 15. The rest are zeros. All right. So first solve this and then we solve that. Okay. So now you group. Now you have a maximum of uh, four, four ones. All right, and uh, then uh, what to do with this one? So I can group it over here. All right, and then we have what? I can have a group of four, four ones from here as well. All right, and then I can have another group of four ones from the map rolling from the corners like this. All right, so I have made one, two, three, and four groups. All right, so now we write down the function's value f is equal to the first, the horizontal. So a, b are changing, and we have a c, d not changing, which is a one, one. All right, now this group, so a and B are not changing, but A is in the low form, so we have an A complement B, and then uh, D is not changing, D, all right? Now let's say again, this group of four ones, so you have what A, B are changing, and what is not changing, it's C that is not changing, all right? And now finally, in the corners, what do we have? So we have when A is changing, B complement is not changing, and then what? Uh, uh, D complement is not changing. All right, so we have C, D plus B complement, D complement plus A, C plus A complement, B, D. Now in this C, what, do, what I did wrong is this, that A, was, A is also not changing over here. So this is not a C only. This is an A C. In this group of four ones, have a look. A is also not changing, and C is also not changing. So this is the answer. Okay. Now to moving to this. So filling it first. So one, then five, then seven, then nine, then eleven, thirteen, and fifteen. And the rest zeros, of course. All right, <clears throat> so now I can have this, a group of four ones. All right, and I, I write it down also so that we don't confuse it then. So this is what, it's uh, A and B are changing, so C complement D, because C is low and D is high. All right, now we can have what? We can have another group of four ones uh, from here. All right, and this group of four ones is called a quad, okay? Group of four ones is called a quad. So we have basically three quads in this, in this, three quads. And where are this, I'm telling you, okay? So this is now the second quad. And what is its value? So A is changing from zero to one, but B is not changing, so we have a B 
and then in the vertical we have a C is changing so we have a D all right and the third quad is let's say this one all right and in this we have uh, a not changing a and we have uh, B C changing and we have D B again so this is the answer okay I believe these examples are enough three are enough okay but a question arises what if all the all the mean terms are high so what is that functions value so in that case have a look let's say we have a two variables k map like this and you have a one 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 so in this case the functions value is what the functions value is one all right if you have a, a, a three variables let's say like this and all the values are one so what do you do this function is also one okay a function is one a function is one if all blocks or all cells in K map are one all right so this is what I need to tell you and that's all for today that's all for today's lecture see you in the next lecture very soon inshallah till then take care of yourselves and everyone around you goodbye